Will you turn that bloody rubbish off? Are you for real, George? There's nothing wrong with it. Well, I like it, put it that way. Alright then, I'll turn it off. Christ. I don't know what it is with you and music. Uh, I don't know my music. I just don't like yours. Well, technically, it's just the radio. I don't decide what they play, do I? Well, why don't you pick a better station then, Christ? What, so I can put another station on, you'll listen to it. No, just turn it off. I'm trying to think. What are you trying to think about? Well, it's important what we're doing right now. I'm just hoping it turns out alright. Well, give us a bit of an update then. What What is this then, this bailer? Right, well, I told you I've been looking. I found a bailer, found a round bailer. And we're going to go down to the dealership now. And we'll check it out. Fingers crossed. Exactly what we're looking for. If we like it, we'll tell them. We want to swap it in for our old one. Maybe we'll have to pay a bit extra, but fingers crossed, it's what we need. Yeah, fingers crossed, George. Let's hope so. Uh, we definitely need a round baler, so, yeah, I'm intrigued to see what this one's like. What make is it again? Uh, I think he said it was New Holland. It's nothing new, I'll tell you that now. It's not, it's not a new one. Pretty old one. What? Well, you know what they say? Second hand brand new. Ah, second hand brand new, George, that's it. Right, well, we're nearly here. Are they expecting us? Oh, they know when we're coming. Spend that much blooming money. <laughs> I bet. I bet in comparison to other farms, George, we don't actually spend that much. Well, feels like it. <laughs> it's got to be that then, hasn't it, George? Uh, I'd say so, ah. Huh? Pull up then. And have a look at it. Yeah, all right then. You faff, don't you? You know, George, I'm trying to go as quick as possible. It's raining. We won't be out there long. Right, well, come on, then we're here. What? Right, let's have a gander at this, then, eh? Miserable day today. Miserable. I know, it's not nice, is it? Not nice at all. Right, well, to be honest, George, I don't really know much about balers. Mm, but it's a round baler. Well, just, of course it's a round baler. It's what we're looking for. Well, do you know anything about them? I know enough. Well, I'll, I'll take your word for it then. You you tell me if it's any good. Uh, I mean, it's got an handprint on. It's got an handprint on? You can clean that off. I don't know. Just looking. Well, I think it's all right, George. I mean, for what we need, this is probably about right. You know, it's not going to be too expensive. It, you can tell it's been used. I know, well... Might get them clean it for us if we pay for it, eh? Yeah, I think that'd be a good shout. They've probably only just had it in. Ah, exactly what he told me. Hmm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Mm, I like it. Yeah, I like it. If he gives me a fair price, we'll take it. But what I will tell him is I want a good warranty on it because if we go, what, this time of year, November, nearly December, we carry on all the way through, go right up to the mowing season, then we cut grass. We about to bail up some silage. Can you imagine? If it don't work and it breaks down on us, well, I'll feel conned. I'll definitely get a good warranty on it. Yeah, I agree. So we are way off, aren't we, cutting any grass? I oh, know. Right, let's go speak to him. Sort it out. Yeah, right, and cheer up. I'm happy, it's just spending money. It drives me insane. It feels like that's all they ever do. I know, but we're going to make some money. We've got a good crop this year, you know, for next next harvest, and we've got more milk coming in. I know, I know. It just seems like it's always spending. Always. Cheer up, George. Uh. Well, I'll tell you what, I love one of these. Don't George will let us have one of these, though. Probably thinks it's a waste of money. All right, George. Oh, I'm all right now. Got a bargain, mate. Bargain. Oh, ah. Huh? Are you happy then? Ah, happy. So, I've purchased it. Got to bring in our bailer. We'll take it back, so I'll leave that with you. All right, and so you sorted all the paperwork out then, I guess? Ah, I sorted it out. It's ours. I told him as well, if I bail that up first time round and i got a fault with it, that's it. I'm going straight back. I want my money back. And I want time-wasted money. 
time wasted money? What's that? Well, they pay me for the time I've wasted. Did he actually agree to that? Is that a thing? Well, he didn't agree to it, but I'm bloody demanding it. I'll tell you that now. Time wasted money. That's what we're going to get. All right then. Fair play. <laughs> time wasted money. I've never heard it before in my life, George. That's a new one. Anyway, come on, George. Let's head back. I oh, know. Right. You were happy a second ago. How would you go from being that happy to this miserable? We aren't miserable. I'm just telling him. Time wasted money. Faffs me about. I want paying for it. Hey, they're pretty fair in there, George. They're, they're all right. Right, well, I'll leave it to you then. You can pick it up whenever you want. It's not like we can do much, and is, is it in this rain? Oh, did I tell you? Tell me what? I didn't tell you, did I? What, what, did, what didn't you tell me? Keith? Is it about Keith? What's happened to Keith now? Don't stop in the road, goddammit. Hey, you sound, you're making it sound like something bad's happened. No, it's in a bad. Well, are you going to tell me then or not? Ray, hold your horses. I'll get to it, don't I? Do you know what? I might not tell you now. Come on, George, you can't leave me in limbo like that. Come on. What's going on with Keith? Ooh, it's pretty decent, I'll tell you that now. Oh, do you know what? Don't tell me then. No, no, I'm only teasing, I'll tell you. Right, so, Keith, gone and bought a farm. You're joking. I honour. Well, he's not bought it, he's leasing it. Ah, fair play. Where is it? Uh, it's not too far, you, you, you've probably seen it. What? What's he got it for? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what am I supposed to know? He just told me he's bought a farm. Well, leased it. Yeah, you said he leased it. I'm confused. What What's going on with this farm now? Keith's got a farm, yeah? Ah, oh, that's it. Right, then. In fact, he did actually ask for your help. My help? What, what doing? I think he wanted you to move some bales for him. I guess to his other farm. Well, do you want me to go help him out today? Well, you can do if you want. I mean, it's not much else we can do. You've fed cows already, haven't you? Yeah, I've fed the cows. In fact, I haven't actually got much to do at all, to be honest with you. Time of year, isn't it? Got a bit quiet. Ah, oh, that'll happen. At least it ain't snowing. No, but it's raining. Oh, no, well, uh, I'm in rain. Fed up of it after that flood. I think we've seen enough of it. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, I do need to take back his lime spreader, so... I don't mind going and do that. George, if that's what you want me to do. Oh, go up. See if he needs an helping hand with them bales. All right, then. I'll do that, then. May as well. Right. Well, yeah. I may as well go do that, then. Yeah, makes sense. I'll uh, I'll head up, drop this uh, spreader back off. Thank him for that. And then uh, I'll help him out. All right, then. Right. At least we got that bale, eh? Yeah, yeah. Nice one, George, for that. Glad it worked out. Gonna do us the world of good, I guess. We can do our own bales now, we can wrap them and everything. Going up in the world's croft, don't we? Soon we'll be the talk of the town. I don't know about that, George. Talk of the town. I don't know. Anyway, have you heard off Tony recently? No, I'm well, gonna hear off him. We've helped him out, that's enough we can do. Not like we're friends, is it? No, I know that, but you're getting on. Oh, uh, well, you know, we had a rough time, so. At least we could have done. Alright, um. But you've heard nothing then? Back on his feet or anything? I imagine so. He's got enough blooming money, hasn't he? He'll sort himself out quick enough. <laughs> probably, probably. Right, yeah, I'll head up anyway. I'll uh, try to figure out what Keith wants me to do and then, uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see how it goes, I guess. All right, and see you in a bit. Oi, don't forget to pick up that bailer. No, I will, I will. I'll do that, don't worry. I'll get it done later on. Oh, yeah, I'll fire. Some moaning, hasn't he? All right, well, let's head up to Keith's and actually see for ourselves what the hell is going on. New farm. Hmm, that is interesting. In fact, he's probably going to need more of an helping hand, which I don't mind doing. Good chap, Keith is, and if he needs an helping hand, I'm happy to do it. I think also George wouldn't mind as well because he has helped us out a lot, lent us stuff, and yeah, it's only fair, isn't it? But yeah, I'm intrigued to see where this farm is. 
I nearly am. And what he's going to be doing on it? Doubt it's arable or anything like that. He hasn't got the kit. Might just be some more space for some, for some sheep maybe. Who knows? Right, so here we are. Let's go drop this off and we'll find him. We'll see what he's up to, eh? He's probably in the house. It is raining after all, so I'd be surprised if he's anywhere else. In fact, he might even be at his farm, but... It doesn't look like it, does it? We've got enough vehicles here, so... Hmm. Anyway, let's back this up over here and we'll uh, drop it off and, uh, yeah, we'll go find him. See if we can help him out. We have left a little bit of liming for him, but it'll be a <laughs> He might want to clean it out. If not, we'll clean it out for him. We'll see what he says. Got to understand him anyway, so... We'll just say that he was happy, I guess. Right, let's plunk this here. Now let's see what he's on about. Say again, Keith. You know about the rain? Yeah, it's uh, it is it's raining. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here because I've just dropped the the spreader off, and uh, yeah, George told me that you you've you've got a farm or something, and that you you might need an helping hand with some bales. Say again. You want me to have a look or something? Oh yeah yeah. Um. Do you want me to take these bales? Then is that what you want me to do? Oh, Um. I'll get my phone out here, and I'll get maps up. Just point to me where you want me to take them. Yeah. Right. There you go. Ah, so it's there. I know where that is. Hey, that's pretty decent, that is. Keith, good on you, man. Good on you. Right, so, let me get this straight. Some bales. Are they all loaded up? Yep, yep, right up. Okay. So just take them up there. And then just, um, head back, yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, I'll go and do that, then. Um, I'll just... I'll, yeah, I'll be, I'll be back when I'm done. I'm sure it's getting worse. I, I thought it, I was understanding a bit more, but I don't know. Maybe it's time of day or something. I don't know. But I haven't got a clue what he just said. All I need him to do is point me in the right direction. He's done that. So he says the bales are loaded up, though. He did. I did get that from him. So let's have a look. Ah, it's got to be that, and it pretty straightforward enough. Right. So there's there's the trailer. Got a feeling that might be a little bit overloaded. Yeah, that's definitely overloaded, isn't it? I don't think that national's gonna pull that. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit worried with that. Let's just uh, turn her on and just actually test this out. Yeah, I don't want to pull that at all. Is Keith having me on here? What's going on? Let me ring George. Come on, George, answer. I don't know if we should be doing this, I'll be honest. Hello? Hey up. Hey up, mate, you're eight. Oh, I'm alright, you. So I've come up to Keith's and uh, he's, he's asked me to move these bales. They're already loaded up on his trailer, but I, I'll be honest, I think he's overstacked this trailer. Well, what, what we should see that? Well, there's. There's too many bales on it. I knew that, but what we should see it's overloaded. Well, it just looks like it's it's way too much. I'm telling you now, it's way too many. I'm just trying to pull it on this national. It's just I don't want to move off. I don't want to move. It's uh, it's going to struggle. And from where he's pointed his farm out, there's going to be some parts that are going uphill. What do you think I should do? Well, if he's loaded it up, he's going to know his trailer and tractor. Just stop faffing and do it. Alright then, if, you if, if, if that's what you want me to do, but I've got a feeling this is too much. Oh, do they keep mowing and get it done, man? Alright then, George, I'll have a go. See you in a bit. Oh. Right, that's two people now that basically told me to do this, so... 
Let's just give it a go, eh? But this, I don't think this is a good idea, I'll be honest. Not at all. I can't get up the hill. It's not doing it. I said to George this wouldn't move. Look at it. it won't get up the hill. I told him this. Oh, let me ring him. Hey, yo, you're eight. No, I'm not a eight. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Well, I'm stuck. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you a bloody idiot? How you got stuck? I can't get up the hill. I'm just sitting here, spinning. <laughs> what are you like? Well, I said this to you, George. I said it wouldn't get up. We tried it. I mean, what do you mean I've tried it? Of course I've tried it. I'm sitting here now trying it. Oh, God, you're such a faffer. What do you want me to do? Well, you're going to have to bring Massey down, aren't you? Or else I'm not going to be able to pull this. Uh, uh, Alright, then. I'll come down now. Where about saw you? Where the stream is, just after. Turning right to Keith's farm. I oh, know where you are. I'll get what you're doing now. I'm trying to get up there. Yeah, I am. Right, well, head down with the mass and we'll have to figure this out. You might have to give me a pull. Because as soon as I unhitch from this, this trailer's going back down. <laughs> oh, you get yourself into some predicaments, don't you? Well, I did predict this, so maybe. <laughs> from now on, George, I'm not going to be listening to you. I'm going to just decide for myself. Uh, hey! I'll make some good decisions, I do. It was you that made this decision. Yeah. Maybe so. Maybe so. Anyway, hurry up and get down here so you can help me out, because this is a faff. <laughs> hurry, and see you in a See you in a minute. I'm in hellfire. I said it was overloaded for this. Just didn't make any sense. It's still raining as well. These bales are going to be ruined. Come on, George. Hurry up. Blooming hell, it is overloaded, isn't it? Whew, I didn't think it was that bad. I know, I told you. Alright, well, how are we going to fix this then now? <sighs> I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue. Well, neither have I, I'll be honest. I feel like if we unhitch, that's going back down. Oh, it's probably right. It's probably right. I feel like even if you put the tractor there and handbrake on, and I unhitch, Somehow then got to get that tractor at the front. Oh, well. Wow. Right, well, um, let me figure this out. Give me a second. I thought you were the technical decision maker. This should be right up your street. Wait, I knew that, but this is a bit different than that, isn't it? Give me a second, let me get this in my head. All right, um. Right, I've got a plan. <laughs> All right, and George, what's your plan? Okay, I'll put the tractor behind the trailer. I've just said that to you. I know, but this, listen to me, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, okay, go on. I'll put the tractor behind the trailer. You won't itch. I'll take the weight, and then, what I want you to do is put your tractor behind mine. Okay, and then what? Um, I don't know, I haven't thought the rest through. <laughs> George, um, I mean it could work, how about you just take the, fr I'll do it, I'll tell you what, let me do it. Right, this is crazy, really is crazy. Right, so if we just, hopefully this will work, and what I'm thinking is, nudge up to it. Not the best thing to do, I'll be honest, but there we go, we've got the weight of it. And brake on. Right, George, just sit in that for me, mate. Put your brakes on. All right, um, we'll do. Right. You ready? Oh, ready. There we go. Have you got it? Oh, so far, so good. Go on, then. I am, I am.
Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the weight from this side. Without letting anything, there we go, that should do. Right, George. Up in the national. Put it in reverse. When I let go of this Massey, give it some power. Try and counteract that dropping down. Oh, what are you thinking? Good idea. Right, you ready? I'm ready. Right, give me a second. Alright, it's your eight, it's holding. Alright then, mate. Alright then, two seconds. My god. There we go, that's that bit. Lock her up. Go on. Go on, girl. Come on, Massey. Yeah, did it. Look at it. This is what we need, power. I'll be honest, I thought I think the McCormick could have done this, though, in all fairness. Just get to the top of here, we'll be a rating. Even the Massey's finding this a bit of a, a struggle. There is a lot of weight in these bales. And the rain isn't helping. I'll get to the top and I'll stop and I'll speak to George, but at least we're, at least we're, at least we're moving again. It blooming works, Scroff. Huh. You're not as dumb as you look. Cheers for that, mate. Cheers. Well, technically it was my idea. Yeah, right, and it was definitely your idea, George. Well, it was. I told you. Balance it on tractor. Yeah, I know. I know. Right, and it was your idea. Anyway, you follow me up, then. Let's have a look at uh, Keith's farm. Well, I can do, can't we? Have a quick look. Uh, I'll follow you up. All right, um... Follow me up, mate. Ah, his idea. Never heard anything like it. How was it his idea? Crazy. I mean, even the Massey is struggling with this. This is a bit of a trek. Way overloaded. Next time I'll tell Keith not stack too many on. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if he does drive up like this, though, and just takes a long time. Well, maybe he didn't realise how many he was putting on. Ah, oh, well. We'll get there. That's the main thing now. I am intrigued to see this because I have driven past this farm a few times and seen the sign. And it isn't a bad farm at all. Right, this is definitely it. Definitely. It actually looks pretty decent. Some good sheds there. Hmm. I guess it was worth a lease after all. Right, well, I think I might just reverse it in there. Let's ask George, see what he thinks. I'll have a quick look around, eh? I don't think Keith will mind. Well, he's doing him a favour. Right, let's leave it there and just quickly go speak to, to George. Ah, oh, this must be the place then, eh, George? Oh, it looks like it. He's pretty nice, isn't it? He's done well, Keith has, hasn't he? Oh, me now. What? He's got more money than I thought. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. A few sheds. I'll tell you what I'll quickly do. Let me just park this up in there to get it out of the rain. Warrior. Right, let's reverse it in there. I think that'll do the job. And then uh, I'll let uh, George drive back with the Massey. And we can drive the national deck back down that should do the job then what a nightmare this was absolute nightmare right George that'll do be a right there won't it well I'll be a right there what do you want me to do then well I thought we could have a quick look round and then I'll head back with the national and uh, I've obviously got your Ford there haven't I oh well, I can't leave that need that back at farm I know. Well, I'll bring it back, and then you can head back in the Massey. All right, then, let's have a quick look round. May as well, while we're here. Uh, uh, actually, right. Well, now he's got a bunker. Hey, I know, George. I think we should get one of them soon, I'll be honest. Oh, God, they cost a bit, they do. Arm and leg. Maybe, but... Cheaper way to store silage, I tell you that now. 
Hmm. Off sea. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a few concrete stands, isn't it? And then we can have loose loose silage fermented that way. I know, but you're not you're forgetting something here. Then we got lease out contractors that'll come in, chop it up, put it in the pit for us. I know, I know that. But then we can compact it and saves wrapping bales, doesn't it? But we just bought a baler, man. What do you expect us do? Yeah, that is true. Forgot about that. I'll tell you what, grass needs cutting. Oh, got his sheep in there. They'll sort that out, won't they? Probably are. Yeah. It's not too bad, though, I have to say. Nice little place, isn't it? Oh, great. Can I have a quick look in here? Oh, go on then. Oh, ah. Ah, it's right, isn't it? Ah. Let me shut it up and we'll go through that way. Go on then, George. Get under and I'll shut it now. I'm here. Don't worry. There you go. There we go. Out the rain at least, eh? Oh, warm me now. Look at this. He must be having cows. Oh, that looks like a cow shed, doesn't it? Oh, no. Well, I am surprised. He's got a bit of ambition, hasn't he, Keith? Yeah, maybe he'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> maybe. Right, well, I'm impressed with that. I have to say, I think Keith's done a good job. Oh, I think he has. Fair play to him. Fair play. Plenty of storage. Nice little yard, needs a bit of tending too, it's uh, looks a bit overgrown, but apart from that, it's alright, isn't it? Ah, oh, it is. I think it's a pretty good deal. Right, well, I'll, I'll leave you to it. You take Massey, and uh, I'll meet you back at the yard later on. Alright then. Hey, Scroft. What's up? Don't want to start faffing again, ringing me up, asking you help you out. Done enough saving you. <laughs> Listen, listen, I actually saved myself there. And, to be honest, I said to you that it was overloaded. You said just stop faffing and give it a go. Ah, oh, but, you know, I wasn't there to see it. If I'd seen it like that, I would have said. You're going to do that. Well, next time I'll I'll, uh, I'll go off my own instincts, eh? Ah, uh, probably best. See you in a bit, George. See you in a bit. Jesus. It's not ringing me up faffing about. Ah, well, at least we did it. These bales are up there. I don't know what he's doing. It looks like he might be getting some cows in, I guess. Well, plenty more work to help him out if he needs an hand and keeps me busy. I would love to get me a little place like that one day. Just can't afford it. Nowhere near. Hey, maybe in the future, though. We'll get our own little patch of land. Maybe grow our own crop. Ask George if we can borrow the harvester. I mean, I did chip in to get it fixed, so I think he'd let me do it. Maybe he would. Maybe if I give him a little cut, 25%, I think George would be happy then. Hmm. It could be a good idea, you know. He has actually got some good land out here, Keith has. He really has. Right, so I'll head, I'll head back to Keith's. I'll, uh, I'll drop this tractor off, jump in the Ford. Head back to the yard, but I think after that, all I've really got to do probably get the check the feed later on. That's all I need to do. Not much else going on right now. Let's hope this rain stops soon. But it has been a bit of a strange one, getting stuck on here. But at least we've helped him out in the end and seen what he's gone and leased out. I'm surprised. I really am. <laughs> 